Hey hello guys, it's How to Tech Simplified back again with another easy tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to improve the settings for your game so that your game runs smoothly, doesn't stutter and have the highest amount of FPS for the uh, weathering wave settings. Now it's a very easy process, I'm going to show you how to do it step by step. Now the first step that we're going to take is inside the settings of our game. Later we'll dive deep into the settings of our PC. So stick around till the end so you don't miss any important steps. First press escape to open up the terminal for watering waves. From there we go to the button right uh, where the cock wheel appears. Now here go inside the graphics card so the graphics settings and here we have the graphics quality. Now make sure to put this at medium. Uh, all the settings uh, test them afterwards to see if they help improve the game quality so that the FPS increases. Now set this to medium. The screen mode is really important that it is set to full screen um, otherwise it will um, yeah, cost the system a lot of effort to run the game. Now from there uh, keep the frame rate at 60 FPS so it doesn't cap below that. From there we have the shadow quality put this at low. The special effects quality also at low. The LOD bias set this to low as well. And the capsule AO, turn this off. The volumetric fog, turn this off. The volumetric lighting, also turn this off. Uh, the motion blur, you should always turn off because you don't want to get sick gaming. The NVIDIA DLSS, uh, you can also turn this off so that the sharpening uh, let's turn this on so we can actually uh, tweak the sharpening a bit. So turn this at around 0.2 minus. Now from there we have the V-Sync and this is one of the most important parts. Turn this off so it doesn't cap your frame rate. Sometimes it will cap at around 30 or 60 FPS and from there lower the FPS possibilities. Now the next step that we want to take is actually inside our PC. So simply press the Windows key on your keyboard and from there right click the Windows icon and open up the task manager. Because now we're looking for the game. Withering waves. Now as you can see right here we have it and from there we right click it and we go to details. Now inside the details we see everything that is happening. Uh, from there we right click the client windows uh, shipping.exe and here we have a lot of uh, stuff to choose from. Now we here have the set priority. Now make sure that this is set to high because what this will do it will prioritize the uh, weathering waves game so that if you have something else running in the background it prior prioritizes uh, the weathering waves to put it at maximum performance. Now from here we can close down the, uh, the game completely so simply uh, go to the uh, processes select weathering waves right click it and press end tasks. Now for the next step we're going to make sure that our NVIDIA graphics card drivers are up to date. So simply uh, go into the search bar, type in GeForce Experience and from there head down to the GeForce Experience. Uh, if you have a AMD graphics card, type in AMD and here check for updates in the GeForce Experience application. Now from there make sure that you update them and install them and then we're heading down to the system settings in our Windows. And from here we're going to the Windows update and make sure that also your Windows is up to date. So simply check for updates. If your Windows is up to date, head down to the Gaming tab and inside the Gaming tab go to Gaming Mode and make sure that the Game Mode is also set on because this will optimize your PC for the game. Now the last thing that we're going to check is the display settings in the system settings. So simply open up the display and from here uh, we scroll down till we find the display resolution. Now these two settings that I'm going to show you are almost one of the most important ones. So simply uh, go to the uh, recommended display resolution, choose that. And here we have the advanced display settings. And in here we need to make sure that the uh, refresh rate is at the highest setting. So for me it's the 75 Hertz. Do this for display one and display two. 
because this allows uh, a way higher frame rates than otherwise was possible. Now, these are the most important settings to improve stuttering and frames per second in your game. Now, if this tutorial has helped you, please uh, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. This helps me out a lot. And thank you for watching.